In this video, you will learn how to use the offsets available in MC1. Understanding the offsets is a foundation for anybody working with machine control because a machine operator will use and adjust the offsets all the time. We have some related how-to videos that might be relevant for you to watch after this one. How to engage with line work. How to engage with surface models. How to engage with streamline models. And how to use tool points. We use a grader to show the concepts in this video, but it is quite the same for dozer and excavator. In almost any earth-moving task using machine control, operators constantly work with the offset to cut and fill material. They set the offsets depending on the material, working conditions, and how close they are to the target value. When we apply an offset to an active reference, MC1 replicates the reference offset by the chosen value, creating a new target position. MC1 calculates the cut fill values and site distances between the chosen tool points and the offsetted active references. Knowing which offset value to use for each task is a key advantage for the operator because it helps to make the right results highly effectively. There are two offset types, height and side offsets. The first and most important offset is the height offset. It is related to the cut fill values. Height offset is how much you push the active height reference up or down from the design's height reference. When you work with the new offset, you need to know which height tool point position you should use. Lift, right, or center. The vertical distance between the chosen tool point and the offsetted line determines the cut fill values. A positive offset value will push the reference line upwards and negative will push the reference line downwards. You can use points, lines and surfaces as height references and you can also set the offset to the current elevation of the height tool point using the equal sign. The second offset type, side offset, is useful when you need to keep the blade in a fixed distance from any element of your design, for instance, the concrete curb. Side offset is how much you push the active side reference sideways from the design's side reference. When you work with the new offset, you need to know which side tool point position you should use. Lift right or center. The horizontal distance between the chosen tool point and the offsetted line determines the sideways deviation. A positive offset value will push the active side reference to the right, while negative offset will push it to the left relative to the direction of the line. You can use points and lines as side references and you can also set the offset to the current distance to the side tool point using the equal sign. There are several situations where an operator should adjust the offsets. In this video, we work on the final grading layer of a road with a center line and a crown profile of 2% cross slope on each side. Let's start grading the road bed. We have selected finish grade as active height reference and center line as active side reference. We set the height tool point in the center of the blade and side tool point in the left side of the blade. It is common to check the grade after compaction and then see that we need to adjust the layer thickness. We adjust the offset by a few centimeters. Here's how. Press third quick access button to open model options. Here we can adjust the height offset. You can manually increase or decrease the offset using the plus and minus buttons. You can also set the offset equal to where your height tool point is right now by pressing the equal sign. 
Finally, you can tap on the number and manually enter an offset. In this exercise, we enter a height offset of 20 cm. Press third quick access button again. Now you can enter the side offset. We do this the same way as setting the height offset. In this exercise, we enter a side offset of minus 25 cm. Offset values appear in the lower bar of the main run screen. There you see height offset and offset type, design elevation under the tool point, actual elevation of the tool point, side offset. The design's height reference is shown as a dark green line and the offsetted height reference is shown as a light green line in the cross section view. The design side reference is shown as a blue line in 3D view and a blue dot in cross section view. Remember that your offsets always work together with the tool points. MC1 measures from your chosen tool point to the active reference, in this case, your offsetted reference. The height tool point is shown in green, while side tool point is shown in blue. For more information regarding tool points, see the video How to use tool points. That's it, you have learned how to use the different offset types together with tool points and active references. You should now have enough understanding about why the offsets are important, how they work together with the tool points, and how to use these effectively in daily work with machine control.